Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Last week, we used the continual line drawing to capture the foreshortening due to perspective. Have you practiced? I sure hope so, because today we're going to capture a more complex scene, an interior. I'm picking this corner of my studio. Let's not get overwhelmed by all the shapes and overlap that seem complicated. Trust your eyes. Start at the left side, if you're right-handed like me, so you don't smudge your lines with your drawing hand. And then follow the outlines of the shapes that you see. I've speeded up the video so I can keep this video fairly short. It looks super fast, but trust me, you need to slow down. Slowly, with your eyes, follow the outlines of the shapes and let your pen follow to record it. Because you are drawing a shape, then the one next to it, the one next to it, and so on, you don't need to worry about perspective or overlap. You're just drawing shapes. You're drawing what you see and therefore you're already capturing these things. I think it's so much fun to see your drawing grow this way and the lines are so expressive. Even all those lines of the stacked crates are fairly easy to capture with this technique. If I would approach it differently, it would take me a longer time to figure out what goes where, adding hatching lines for shadows and directions. That's also fun to do, and your drawing can become more accurate or realistic, but there's also a chance that you lose your view on the bigger picture. You need to make decisions too. For example, I'm not going to try and draw the texture of the rug here. Just the outline will actually already show the essence of the rug. When you think you're done, you may notice you missed some stuff. That's okay, you can start a second continual line. Instead of a one-liner, this then becomes a two-liner. Does this seem too advanced? Well then, try this technique with a smaller scene, like a small still life or just one or two items. Take your time and have fun! And if you'd like to learn more, sign up for a class or the newsletter at sketchbookschool.com. Mm -hmm.